a potential r- ball rolling into a interest rate cut in 2024. Fourth quarter, in my opinion. Not early, not mid. Fourth quarter 2024 at the soonest. But I think it's going to be 2025. What is this, Lloyd Austin? Fuck you and your politics, stupid ass. Suck my dick, little oh, league. Jesus I will show Christ. you back here. I thought, I thought, we, I thought we were going to have a really good show here, and then all of a sudden this had to happen. Anyway, what's going on to Maria Maria in the chat with a diamond over there in D-Live? And, but by the way, I see the people in Rumble. I see the people in D-Live. Cheers to everyone. All right. But anyway, even though I'm suggesting that we may be seeing a little bit of what uh, Jerome Powell called a soft landing, these debts of ours are going to be so astronomical that no one's going to buy our debt. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why do you keep banning me into Twitter? All I want to do is be part of your community, but you push me away. You're a the sick piece of trash. Me, the more accounts I will make. You're a sick Tra- yeah, that's what I figured. You were a goddamn racist piece of trash. You're a sick piece of crap. That's why. All right? I mean, this whoever this guy is, a ghost's butt slave, he literally posts uh, turds that are, I don't know, that he takes himself. I don't know what it is. And he, and he puts it on every goddamn post that I post on Twitter. Like actual turds. Anyway, uh, let, let me go to... Uh, <laughs> Let me go to some of these buy me a coffees that just came in, and we're going to continue to discuss a little bit of finance here. All right. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, there is a surge in growth fading. Ah, Jesus Christ. The art that I post on your Twitter posts is just a reflection of your show and political commentary. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, dude, stop fucking being racist, you dumb pieces of trash. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was saying, you know, you got a lot of people pissing and moaning about the economy here. 5.2% GDP at this point in time. And we have to make it at least uh, somewhat fiscally appealing to investors in the international community to purchase our debt. And the only way we're going to do that is if we start trimming down the deficit. That's the only way we're going to be able to do it. And no party is talking about this. Democrat, Republican, none of them are talking about that. Hamas brony. Cloudsdale will fall. From land to sea, Equestria will be free. The d- oh, control the weather, geez. and we all know it was for his page d- who flew into what? those towers. All right, I'm sorry, folks. I know I'm trying to be serious here, and obviously you got yourself a bunch of a bunch of jerk nuts that are trying to talk garbage. But anyway, as I was stating, I think everybody needs to take a look at this. Even though it appears that we're going into a soft landing. I think people need to recognize the treasuries, and that could be it. All right? Remember I said that. All right? Remember I said that. But, you know, the politicians in Washington, they got to figure it out. But if the American people don't care, then they're not going to care, right? <laughs> I'd buy that. What do you mean? No, no one believes you. GDP doesn't mean jack shit if we're just replacing our people with immigrants from third world shitholes and starting uh, endless give wars me a to break. fuel the war economy. Dude. Boomers have sacrificed the youth oh, of this nation fuck to fuel the you. GDP. Look, first and foremost, I'm tired of you young people pissing and moaning about all oh, you boomers, you boomers. You fucking idiots refuse to grow up. You refuse to grow up and realize that, look, I've got to go out there and I've got to stake my own claim here and no one's going to give me nothing. And you see, all you fucking dumb young people, you will operate under the same simplistic mentality. Oh, things are going to happen to me. Things are going to happen to me. No, you dumb fucking shithead. If that's how you operate, you've already lost the game of life. You've already lost the game of life. If you're out here saying, things are going to happen to me, you have to go out there and make things happen. All right? I mean, give me a break. And you want to know why you dumb young people don't want to grow up? Because guess what? The boomers that you criticize so much have given you such a pussy-pampered upbringing that you idiots are just like the commercial from Toys R Us. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Y'all are just like that commercial, and you refuse to grow up. So get the fuck out of here. You people are a bunch of man-children, and the reason that you're finding it so hard to get by in life is because you spend most of your money on horse shit. All right, with video games and apps and energy drinks and all the all the dumb shit that isn't gonna that's worthless. It's look at that. Look at that. They know it. Look at they're molding. Look at them. Show 
rock They're racing get more viewers than this crap. Look at this. Fuck you, boomer. You bought your Texas H soy in Look at this. They're gum, molding. Lint, and a paper clip from your belly button. Yeah. Bitch. Yeah, keep molding, asshole. All right, keep molding, boy. All right. And look, you're, you're out here. Y'all are talking garbage to me. Y'all are talking garbage to me. Let me tell you something. All right. Most of you. What is this? I'd buy that for a dollar. Not an argument. Boomer. Not an argument, Boomer. You know that there's 9.5 million jobs available right now, you dumb little spoiled brats. None of you people want them. Look it up right now. Look it up. I'd buy that for a dollar. What the hell? Hi, Daddy. Monday night was great. Oh, Your dude. Was so huge That's not so Jag the Luxray, all right? Asshole. Hope to see That's you again not so we can have That's not good Jag the Luxray. It's a bunch of crap. Stop, stop it with that garbage, all right? Now, look, we're getting off keister here on this show. I'm, I mean, I'm trying to, you know, convey some really serious information, and I'm trying to, you know, tap into the people's psyche so that I could spark some brains or, or synapses in their brain. You see, y'all are screwing me up now. Jesus Christ. Anyway, look, you people piss and moan, all right, about the boomers this, the boomers that, yet no one's no one's exposing you. No one's, ex no one's, no one's, uh, uh. I'd buy that for a dollar. At least I can use technology, Boomer. All right. I, look, I've had enough of this crap, all right? This is supposed to be a serious show here, and I'm tired of you people derailing it here. I, I'm on a, I, I gotta be in a fucking zone to be in this show here, all right? There's a lot of serious stuff I want to convey, and if you trolls just want to sit there and fan your nuts and talk garbage to me, then get the fuck out of here right the fuck right now, all right? I don't need trolls to be badgering my damn show here. I'm, a, I'm in a fucking zone, all right? I'm in a fucking zone. Anyway, put the PC shot on. Okay, this is how you folks operate. Can money buy happiness? 60% of Americans say yes. And the price tag, $1.2 million. Now, you see, I don't necessarily not agree with this, but money is not everything. All right? I just asked Bam Majera, if you all know the jackass guy, from, or the guy from Viva La Bam, this guy had all the money in the world in his 20s. Remember, that was part of the beginning of his Viva La Bam show. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Look at him now. He's a complete and utter alcoholic lunatic who's losing his mind. He's losing his health. And the reason is, is because he thought that money was everything. And he used it against the people that he loved. He used it against the people that were his friends. And now that he really needs somebody, nobody's there. Nobody's there. But you know something? Okay. You folks are like, hey, money makes the world go round, ghost. You're a capitalist. Yeah, but you got to work. You got to figure out how to get that money. I mean, don't you understand that? <laughs> I'd buy and that what is it, millennial? It's so easy to say boomer when everything was given to you. No one can buy houses. No one can even uh, buy multiple houses for investments. Oh, uh, fuck you. You guys got handed everything down to you. You dumb fucking shithead. I tweeted about this already. All right, let's go ahead and go over that tweet since, you know, everybody out here is like, oh, I can't afford a house. I can't afford shit. And what jobs are those? Majority of those jobs are part-time work that pays $15 an hour. What's wrong a with 15 an hour? Live on that when you have to factor in rent and bills, especially in states like California. Well, then get out of California! Out of touch boomer. Then get out of California! All right, get off of your mother and father's teeth and get out of there! And what is this? The show's producer? Hold on, this to is... To some, a, uh, Ghost is merely a political commentator, what? providing insight into economics and world events. What the but hell? But to others... Ghost's generosity has become a staple of his illustrious online career. So far, Ghost has promised to provide dental care to his most dedicated employees. Wait a minute, hold on. Restoring the smiles on. of those who've played the biggest part in Calm his success. Calm down! Now, Ghost's generosity will go even further. The Art Hammon Hairline Preservation Fund will ensure all Art donations Hammond. from this episode what? will be sent directly to a savings account to be used in the event of Art Hammon going bald at any point in his life. Are you kidding Paying for me? Hair transplants is his contribution to you. This is also the announcement of a surprise fire sale. Five minute video. No, we're not doing any videos. All right, you ass clown. 
Now, before I got rudely interrupted by some Art Hammond, you know, AI-generated advertisement here, okay, let me go ahead and address that idiot who donated that, oh, we can't afford a house anymore, boomer. Take a look at this, okay? You know, this is how you dumb young people like to, you know, I guess comic or whatever. Look at boomers spending their money after refusing to help their children buy a house. You see... That's what you young people expect. You expect somebody to help you. My folks didn't give a flying fuck, all right? Everything that I had, I had to work for. And guess what, all right? Over 40 years ago, this was around the time frame of 78 to about 83, all right? Banks required 20% down on a home at an interest rate as high as 20 fucking percent. It went as high in 83, I think, to 24%, believe it or not. Nowadays, FHA loans, which any of you idiots can qualify for as long as you fucking work and have some money set aside in a goddamn savings account or have some fucking assets or some shit, instead of buying a bunch of garbage, 3.5% down on an FHA loan, and you've got yourself a house. If you qualify for a USDA loan, you may not have to fucking put anything down at all. And guess what? You get You go into a house. All right, it is fucking easy to get a house in today's America, and if you don't have a house, it's because you're sucking the damn disgusting, wrinkled-up titty of your mammy. So don't fucking come at me and say, oh, boomers, you you, you got house, you got this. You, hey, I didn't get a goddamn thing. I had to pay a fucking 20% fucking interest rate on my first fucking house. What the hell are you talking about, you stupid, dumb, fucking spoiled, entitled brat? And guess what? My first job, you know how much I made on my fucking first job, you fucking stupid shithead? Fucking two dollars an hour! Fucking idiot. Oh, man. I mean, did we bitch? Did we fucking bitch back then? Like, oh, man, we're only making two dollars an hour, and this is horrible. <laughs> no! We didn't bitch and moan. Guess what? We, we said, okay, I'm, I'm making two dollars an hour now. Hopefully, the job that I'm getting is giving me experience so that maybe I move up or maybe I get some skills. Some fucking shit. And guess what? We figured it out. I mean, I'm an old man now. I've acquired many of assets. So I fucking... I mean, it, dude, you have to work for it. No one's going to give you shit. Ma, if you're expecting mom and dad to give you shit, you're a fucking dickless piece of crap. You're a dickless idiot, and you, you, know, you should be thrown out in the street if you want my opinion. Like I was when I was 18 years fucking old. <sighs> anyway, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry y'all had to see that. All right? I mean, you know, these fucking guys out here, they think that, you know, oh, oh you're supposed to hook me up, Mom. Dad, y'all are supposed to hook me up. You're supposed to hook me up. No one hooks you up. And guess what? You have to figure it out. Like old Ghost over here. You know, Ghost has the stock market beat. All right? Did y'all see this tweet earlier? Take a look at this. Stock to watch today for day trading. And this was at about 8, I think I, I, I was it 810 is when I tweeted this, uh, about 20 minutes before the damn market even opened. I said, stock to watch for day trading. All right, VVOS. Almost 9 million shares traded in the pre-market, 996,000 public float. It's a news play on approval of a sleep apnea device, and there's the link to it. You're welcome. Okay? Let me show you how fucking easy it is to make some fucking money if you had some fucking balls and you had the fucking, uh, you know, you, you had some fucking ability to do it. You had some fucking foresight. You had some fucking motivation. You had some shit. Did you take a look at this fucking stock, you fucking pieces of shit? Take a look at that. Put the PC shot on. 38 fucking dollars. 38 fucking dollars. You could have bought this shit this morning at 10 fucking dollars, man. And hold on, this is... Uh, cry more! How about you go cry more? Fuck off, Whoa! Fuck off, Hey! There! I said it! I fucking said it! Hey! What the hell? Anyway, take a look at that, baby. All right? All right, all of you fucking dumb young people that are pissing and moaning, look at that, 820% increase on the fucking day. And guess what? All of you people are pissing and moaning. Oh, I don't know. I can't do it. I mean, I only make fucking 15 an hour. I only make fucking 20 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> fucking morons.
And what I'm supposed to what I'm supposed to fucking feel sorry for a bunch of young people who would rather spend their money on fucking stupid ass anime and uh, video games and and apps and all this other fucking bullshit. You think I'm supposed to fucking show any kind of sympathy for that? Fuck you. All right, look at the opportunity. Look at the fucking economic opportunity. Look, it's forty-two fucking dollars right now. Look at this was ten a.m. This was fucking nine thirty p.m. Look, you could have got it for eleven bucks, twelve bucks, ten bucks, uh, twelve bucks, eleven bucks. Look all that, and guess what? Look at forty bucks at the fucking end of the day. So fucking stop with your fucking pissing and moaning. There's no economic opportunity, ghost. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking idiots. All right, yeah, keep pissing and moaning about the boomers this and boomers that, while everyone else who has a brain and everyone else that has the motivation and the ambition is capitalizing, for Christ's sake. All right? And by the way, even if you idiots, you young people that want to go to work, you don't even want to come back to the office anymore. Have y'all seen this? Take a look at this shit. Workers say that they'll return to the office, quote, if they are offered certain specific incentives. So... I mean, you fucking idiots don't even want to go to the fucking office and get work, for fuck's sake. Oh, God. But I'm supposed to sit here and feel sorry for a bunch of young people that are pissing and moaning about, I can't get a house. I, I don't know how to get a job. Well, who the fuck is supporting you? Your dickless fucking parents. Your dickless fucking parents who should be neutered. I'm sorry, folks, y'all had to see that. I'm sick and tired of these young fucking people talking garbage that I'm supposed to show some compassion to them. They've got all the opportunity in the fucking world, and instead of focusing their time, effort, and energy on something that'll make their life better, they want to sit here and be like Sasu Frasu at 24 years old, 25-year-old fucking piece of shit with fucking 60000 in fucking college debt, and when he gets his first job, he's like, I, I have to stand on my feet all day. I can't do it. Mom, I'm retarded. I'm autistic and just fucking be a stupid asshole that lives in their you know, vicariously through their first sona and shit get the fuck out of here get the fuck out <sighs> jesus i'm sorry i'm sorry for all the folks that are listening out there i'm sorry but for christ's sake i mean you hear these young people oh you know there's no jobs boomer <laughs> look even if you find an office job you don't even want to go back to the fucking office you people are fucking lazy pieces of shit and you people are wondering why they're allowing all these fucking immigrants to come into the country because they're the ones fucking working. I'm out here in San Antonio, ground zero when it comes to immigration sanctuary city, okay? And I have interface with almost every fucking goddamn uh, different country nationality and 90% of them. I'm not saying that there, there isn't shitters. Believe me, there are. I mean, these we need to stop sending those fucking people over here. All right, these people are fucking useless. I'm sorry, the fucking... I mean, that's, uh, you know, we could we could cut down on the quota on those fucks. Let's just put it that way. But almost everybody else is a hard fucking worker. They're out here to work. They want an economic opportunity. They can't believe that there's, you know, so many jobs available. They can't believe that there's supermarket with fucking plenty of food that everybody can buy. They can't believe this shit. And you people piss and moan like you're supposed to be entitled to it. Like you're supposed to just get a fucking box of badass fucking grass-fed beef given to you for free on a monthly basis or some shit. Huh? How about some lobster tail while you're at it? How about some Dom P vintage fucking 2005 while you're at it for fuck's sake? I'm sorry, folks. I'm, I didn't mean to go off Keister. Look at, look at these people in the chat room. They're molding now. They should be molding. They don't even want to go back to the office. They want to use that whole, ah, oh, the COVID, my, my COVID, yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, all of you idiots that were like, um, I'm going to, I, I, you know, the, the home prices are too high and I'm not going to get, I, yeah, yeah. guess what? They're going higher, even amidst higher interest rates. Take a look at this. U.S. home prices climbed for the seventh month in a row to a record high case shiller report i was actually discussing this commercial real estate is an umbrella to a bunch of different asset classes okay you've got retail <laughs> commercial oh I jesus steve jobs died on october 5th 2011 there is no jobs boomer oh, also jesus contributing Christ. to the art hair plugs fund I had them done myself and worked out great. All right, just shut up, all right? You fucking stupid milky liquor. 
Anyway, as I was stating, okay, the commercial real estate encompasses a whole bunch of different financial instruments when it comes to property. You have the com- a retail commercial. Now, I have no idea who is advising the Biden administration and who thinks this is a good idea. I'd buy that for a dollar. But I don't know, man. It has been 8,114 days since 9 11. Just friendly what the hell? reminder to never forget. Since what? it seems that you were starting to forget. I'm not also, forgetting. If you thought that it wasn't the time or place to bring this up, you hate America. Uh, Adding to the art ham and fun, too. Yeah, just shove it up your ass, all right? I, I love this country. This is the greatest country on earth. Why do you think so many people are trying to get into this country? Anyway, as I was su- suggested, okay, here it is. Hunter Biden agrees to testify publicly before the House Oversight Committee. This is going to be great political theater. Now, unfortunately, I think at this point, whoever's, I think, advising Hunter Biden, uh, believe that the House Republicans are so idiotic. But anyway, that's the Republican Party. All right, that's, that's what we're dealing with here. It's sad. I wish we had something else, which we don't. Buy that for a dollar. Hey, hold on. Listen, a confused dad. Sorry to interrupt the show, but my wife added dish soap to our shopping list, but I don't know which to buy. The Dawn Ultra Platinum looks attractive, but Ivory Dish Detergent looks like a better deal. Sorry for holding things up. No uh, worries. I, Thanks. I use Dawn, you know, in my opinion. That's that's my opinion. I'm not I'm not sponsored or any of that shit. That's just my opinion, okay? Uh, anyway, look, uh, I don't know who to... I mean, we're, we're done for as a party in 2024. If you have any optimistic that we're actually going to do anything, then you must be smoking crack. I'm sorry. I, I hate to say it. Uh, but anyway, let me switch gears here, okay? Let's go from talking about the GOP field to talking about uh, Elon Musk. Uh, or when you visit Bahrain, you see something entirely different, sir. There was, in fact, a cultural change there. Uh, and let me say that that same thing is, in my opinion, happening. Uh, God damn it. Dude, we're listening to something Sometimes here. I eat my dog's Hershey squirt shit. Oh, I gobble God. the slurry Come down on. like it's chocolate milk. I let nothing go to waste. Dude. Looking up drizzled grass clippings for dessert. We're trying to talk about serious subjects here, and you're talking about eating your fucking dog's Hershey squirts, dude. Come on. Saudi Arabia, Jesus the Christ. de-radicalization of uh, these Muslim countries, these Arab countries. <clears throat> Which would see his government pour money into supercomputers and educational dollar. initiatives. Hey, Ghost, this is real depressing. Can we get Mr. Optimism on the air? Uh, well, later, dude. I'm in the midst of, uh, you know, saying some shit here. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is is that we've got AI uh, investment. I'd buy that for a dollar. We've got AI investment. We've got military investment uh, in Russia amidst Russia's general spending cuts. They have postponed the announcement I'd on whether or not... For a dollar. Oh, gee, here's an audible file, folks. What is this? Jimmy... Lord hey, Jim- everybody. Lord Jimmy Burrito here. Fuck with whatever Ghost is talking about. Let's talk about some hard-hitting investment news today. According to the Dow Jones, it appears that Rock Ape stock is down today. Looks like it's down to about uh, six feet underground. Rest in peace. What a piece Our of shit. What a piece um, of shit. Over in the commodities section. What a piece like of shit. Otherwise known as All right. Skip this fucking asshole. Skip this moron. Fuck goes and do radio graffiti. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. I'm not going to do a goddamn thing because you're sitting out there fucking trying to be a foul out mouth fucking prick to me, man. Look, I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks out here. I'm trying to convey ideas. And the last thing I need is some fucking AIDS infected sounding fruit bowl to be sitting here trying to make judgment on me. I wonder why they call you Lord Burrito, huh? Because you fucking, you, you, you took a bad enchilada and got the AIDS. The AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. You got the AIDS. You got the AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. You got the AIDS. All right, you know what? I'm smoking some tobacco here, all right? That's what I'm doing. I'm smoking some tobacco. I'm sorry, folks. I wanted to, you know, talk about how OPEC doesn't know what the fuck to do about its production cuts or increases because they done goofed. Mohammed bin Salman done goofed. He chose the side of China and Russia, and look at him. He's left there with his prick in his hand. He doesn't know what the hell to do. Jesus Christ. Anyway, please excuse me, folks. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, 
I'm going to smoke some of this tobacco, all right? So please excuse me and shut up in the chat room. Ain't nobody fake smoking here, all right? I got to smoke something in order to fucking pallet all you fucking troll terrorists and cyber vermin, for heaven's sake. <sighs> Give me a smoke here. Please excuse me, folks. All right, we're going to get back to the fucking show here in a second, all right? All right, let's go ahead and get back to the show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, these people are fucking pieces of crap. I mean, I don't know what the hell to say. All right. Anyway, once again, OPEC doesn't know what the fuck to do. It doesn't know whether to shit or get off the pot. It knows it done goofed. And uh, I don't know. Let's see what happens to Saudi Arabia in the future, if you want my opinion. But let's move from Saudi Arabia to China. And, folks, you know what's going on in China. It looks a lot similar to what we saw during 2020. Are being deported from Pakistan. That's how pissed off Pakistan <laughs> is. buy that for a dollar. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm so bored I could drop dead like Rock Ape. Z, Well, then Z, get the Z, hell out of here! Z, Z. Fuck. No, you shut up! Then get the hell out of here! If you're fucking bored, you dumb piece of tr trash, get out! All right, nobody's asking your ass to be here. You people are making me want to puke, all right? I'm over here giving you fucking millions of dollars of information, for fuck's sake. I'm trying to spark synapses in your brains, and this is the kind of fucking thanks I'm getting, you fucking pieces of trash? I'm shooting pearls here, man. I'm shooting pearls, and this is the kind of crap that you people are fucking coming at me with. Fucking dumb. You see, now my dog is upset. You see that? Now you upset my dog. Come here, Pinochet. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. We got these fucking trolls over here. Come here, Pinochet. I'm sorry, dude. Go out there. I'm sorry, dude. Jesus Christ. Come here. I'm, I'm sorry, Pinochet. These fucking trolls piss me off. I'm sorry, Pinochet. Here he is. Jesus fucking Christ, man. All right, anyway, I'm sorry. Don't do any more text-to-speeches unless you're going to say something positive. You understand that? As a matter of fact, I need my positive reinforcement button here. Where's my positive reinforcement button at? Here, here it is, here. You are a badass. I am a badass. I am a badass. I don't, I, these fucking trolls out here flapping their fat Cheeto-stained fingers on the keyboard talking garbage. Yeah, yeah, they ain't shit. i buy that. What the hell do you want? All right. Yeah, don't donate to me in rubles, you dumbass. Here, another. I need some more positive reinforcement. You are a badass. I am a badass! I am a badass! And look at these people in the chat room talking garbage, for Christ's sake. You know, I, you, you, know you, po you folks are really something. You know that? I'm over here giving you guys all kinds of millions of dollars of information, and you people don't care, man. I deserve more respect than this. I deserve more respect. Hold on, I'm gonna get back to the show in a second, folks. But ah, oh, fuck it. For what now? What? You are a fat ass. Fuck you, asshole. All right. Fuck you. You know, listen. Don't do any text to speeches unless you're gonna say something positive. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Here, I'm gonna take a smoke here, folks. My apologies. Here, let me take a fucking breath and a smoke here. <sighs> all right, here. I'm just smoking some tobacco. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. Just I'm, I'm smoking some tobacco. All right. Anyway, as I was stating... Ah, oh, oh, you fucking piece of shit! Dollar. No hate ghost, but this is all really boring. Get to RG update. Then get out of here! Then get out of here! I don't want you trolls here! If you don't fucking like it, get out! Get the... Get the fuck out! Out! Piece of shit! Get out! I'm tired of dealing with you fucking people that are out here fucking talking garbage to me, man. I deserve more respect in this crap! I deserve more respect! You son of a bitch! Alright, enough of the trolling, man! Enough of the damn trolling! I'm over here trying to give you guys some fucking information, man! I care! I care about what's happening in this fucking world. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. But let me, I, I'm drinking water here, all right? I'm not, I don't day drink, all right? Unless it's on fucking Sunday, all right? <sighs> all right. 
All right, folks, I'm sorry. Let me just calm down here, all right? I'm, I'm getting a little off keister. But as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by a bunch of fucking troll terrorists and cyber vermin, all right, Pakistan is getting tired of the Taliban so much that they are deporting hundreds of thousands of Afghanistans or Afghanis out of their damn country. All right, so what is the response by the Taliban by this? Oh, jeez, oh, just shut up. Just shut up already, all right? Shut up! I'm trying to do a show here. Shut the fuck up! <sighs> anyway, wh what is the Taliban's response for Pakistan trying to flex nuts at the Taliban, trying to issue ultimatums at the Taliban? Look, hold on. Before I go on, can y'all shut the hell up in the chat rooms there, man? Y'all are starting to really upset me, man. All right? I'm over here. I'm trying, man. I'm trying here. I'm trying. <sighs> anyway, once again, cheers to the new members on Rumble. All right. Uh, Valentine Broadcasting, trolling the interwebs. I know Cat Cans is one of them. Uh, I, I know uh, Vitaly bought us, uh, those folks. And cheers to the folks that are members over there at DLive as well. All right. But anyway, as I was stating, what is the Taliban's response to Pakistan flexing nuts at him and giving him ultimate... God, God damn it, fucking shit! Dollar. What? Fuck, this show's so boring, it actually brought me back. God, please take me away. Dude, that's enough of this. Dude, that's enough. All right, I'm, I'm over here trying to give you guys a fucking decent show here. Enough of this crap. Jesus Christ, man. I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'M TRYING TO DO A SHOW! Alright, let me let me take another smoke here, alright? Oh, Jesus Christ. I just dropped my fucking quarter that I put on the fucking pipe. God damn it! God damn it! Shit! What the fuck is it? Oh, crap, man. Get this crap out of here! Alright, I, I found it, alright? I didn't fucking fall that far. I mean, I found it. Anyway, let me take a smoke here. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Dude, I'm not... You're... Just cut the crap, man. Look, if you all don't start... Or, excuse me, if you all don't stop... Excuse me, you see, you all got me fucking flustered, for Christ's sake. If you all don't stop, I'm not showing up for the ghost show, all right? This is your last fucking warning to all of you fucking trolls here. All right, I'm trying to actually have a serious show here, all right? I've got people that actually listen to me to the, for the financial insight, for the political and social commentary, you fucking ungrateful pieces of nipple clamp, love and butt plug up the ass looking pieces of crap. What do you want? Sounds like you need to bring Mr. Optimism on. Uh, uh, dude, I, I don't have Mr. Optimism here with me. I don't even have any optimism on me. <sighs> All right, I'm sorry, folks. I, I'm really am sorry. Let's just let's just get back to the fucking show here. As I was stating before, I got rudely interrupted by a bunch of text-to-speech troll terrorist bastards. How is the Taliban going to respond to Pakistan flexing nuts at the Taliban and expelling Afghanis back into Afghanistan? What is the Taliban's response? Take a look at this. The Taliban plans to rebuild and legitimize Al Qaeda. What did I tell you? Huh? What did I tell What did I tell you? Remember last Oh, Jesus fucking a What the fuck? No offense, and I really don't mean to offend. I've been listening for a good 13 years and had a lot of great moments. Enjoyed some iconic laughs that nothing else on the planet could possibly compare to. But this is the most boring episode so oh, far. Uh, fuck w you! Get out of here! Get out! Stop text speech and get out! Get out of here! And stop donating me in fucking tuna fish and fucking fiat currency, man! Donate me in American fucking currency! What is this? Fucking euro! The good news, Rock Ape got something that grew and reproduced with him over time. Well, we saw how that turned out. All right, dude, I've had about enough of this, man. If y'all don't cut the crap, I'm getting the fuck out of here, you dumb fucking milky lickers. I'm not joking around. If y'all don't cut the crap out, I'm getting the hell out of here. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Anyway, CIA ADA, all right, the Taliban plans to rebuild and legitimize them. Are we shocked, many of you that have been listening to me for a long period of time? Are we shocked by this? Absolutely not. 
Anyway, I'm sorry. Let me take another smoke here, man. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do the show, folks. But as you can see, this is just this is this is going off keister, all right? Here, give me a smoke. That's it. Gotta gotta hold it in, let it hit the brain, all right? All right. Taliban threatening to rebuild and legitimize Al-Qaeda in response to Pakistan flexing nuts, all right? I mean, I'm over here, you know, I'm shooting pearls out here. Nobody gives a shit, you know? Anyway, uh, guess what? Uh, what the hell is this? I didn't betray Vaughn. I didn't do any. What are you talking about? I'm trying to get away from you trolls is what I'm doing. I'm trying to get away from you trolls. But look at how successful I'm getting. I'm not successful. Jesus Christ, you fucking people. I'm over here. I'm just trying to shoot pearls over here, all right? Anyway, and look at everybody in the uh, D Live chat. It's like, Vaughn chat sucks. You know, stickers all over the place in there. Uh, but anyway, uh, let us talk a little bit about Burkina Faso. Remember Burkina Faso? Remember that? Uh, how uh, there was always Al Qaeda and ISIS engagement over in that region? Well, it's still going on to this day. Take a look at this. All right. Oh, my bad. Take a look at PC shot. There it is. At least 40 civilians killed in Burkina Faso jihadist attack. If we fight them over there, we don't have to fight them over here. <laughs> you know, oh, I'd Jesus. Buy that for a dollar. How much for radio graffiti? What, what the fuck? Dude, come on. Don't put, me on, don't put me on the spot like that. All right, I'm trying to be a serious show. Don't put me on the spot like that, man. I hate when y'all do that. Y'all make me out to be like some fucking uh, $5 whore on nickel night when you like proposition me like, yeah, how much is it going to cost, bitch? All right? How much is it going to cost for us to have a little bit of fucking radio graffiti over here? It's what I fucking want. It's what we want over here. We fucking want a little bit of radio graffiti. Why don't I fucking now? Let's do it. Anyway, I'm look, I'm actually trying to, you know, hook up some real news and I'm trying to hook up some real uh, news here, and, you know, it is what it is, all right? And what is this? I'm a $5 whore on Rumble? That's all it costs to be a member? Five bucks? Really? I, I, oh, dude. All right. I, I didn't know that. I thought, I, I thought people were paying, like, nine ninety nine or some shit. These people are paying five bucks? Now I'm a $5 whore on Rumble. That's great, dude. Yeah, real funny, asshole. Real funny. Anyway, uh, once again, 40 civilians killed in Burkina Faso jihadist attack. It continues once again. We've been talking about this for like the past year and a half or so. You know what I mean? And, uh, dude, can y'all people stop in Rumble, please? Seriously, I, I just stop, all right? You guys are starting to piss me off. I'm not a $5 whore. I didn't know that Rumble... To be a member or a sub was five. I didn't know. All right, I'm not a five dollar whore. Jesus Christ! Do you see what I have to fucking put up with on a consistent basis here, folks? Man, I mean, anybody that wants to be their own streamer and shit, take a look at what you have to put up with here. Anyway, as I was stating once again, Burkina Faso still plagued by CIA ADA, and that's just the way it is. All right. And fuck you, I'm not an e-boy. What the fuck does that mean? I'm an e-boy. I'm not a fucking e-boy, dude. Sh All right, dude, y'all are starting to fucking piss me off now. If you, I, I don't, I, I'm going to end the fucking show. I don't need this shit. All right? I deserve more respect in this shit. I don't need this shit. Jesus fucking Christ. And uh, for Anybody who's laughing, you take it up the fucking ass. All right? Anybody laughing takes it up the fucking ass. Fucking piece of crap. Give me a smoke. That's it. Gotta hold it in, let it hit the brain. Yeah, Zirkin, Gherkin, you take it up the fucking ass, all right? Bob Filson takes it up the fucking ass. President J takes it up the ass. Mega Raptor takes it up the ass. Propane Man takes it up the ass. Ouija Slayer takes it up the ass. Happy Mars takes it up the ass. Hair of the Dog takes it up the ass. Jimmy Powell takes it up the fucking ass. B. Joggin definitely takes it up the fucking ass. DJJK takes it up the fucking ass. 
All right, prosthetic prognosticator takes it up the fucking ass. Kitsch does a flip, takes it up the fucking ass. Fallen Dunn takes it up the fucking ass. All right? Fucking piece of shit. Yo, little ghostly takes it up the fucking ass. Kirk Gibson takes it up the fucking ass. Robert 147 takes it up the fucking ass. And we... Oh, I Jesus. What now? You wouldn't have thrown some new game or respect if your soul wasn't so fucking boring. Fuck you, dude. My show's not boring, you piece of crap. It's informative. It's not boring. And we got Jag the Luxray with a diamond in D-Live. Don't worry. Most D-Live supporters uh, support you, man. Thank you, man. Maybe I should put the fucking D-Live chat up in here. Here, let's put the fuck. Let's put a D-Live. Hey, hey engineer. Can you put the fucking D live chat on here, please? Put it on there, man. All right. Anyway, let's see if we can get the D live chat on here. And look, there it is. There's the D live chat. All right. Anyway, where are we? I, I was going to talk about other subject matters here. And now, you know, we're going off Keister. All right. Where are we at here? Where are we? Oh, yeah. We were at Burkina Faso. 40 people killed in Burkina Faso. Well, on the other side of Africa. They're also getting hit up by ISIS. But guess what? Nigeria actually caught them in some kind of a landmine. ISIS fighters in transfer. Take a look at this. 50 ISIS fighters killed in an explosion in Nigeria. So it looks like Nigeria is definitely trying to take care of their oil assets and all the other uh, natural resources that kind of makes Nigeria a fairly decent country, depending on your living standards in Africa. You know, but once again, it goes to show you that these fighters are in constant movement. And they'll, they'll be anywhere. They'll, they'll be anywhere. They'll hit anywhere. And it's just, it's just unbelievable. So anyway, look, stop. Listen to me. Stop. Oh, it's the wrong screen. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> all right, you guys. Dude, all right, I'm, I'm fucking done, dude. All right, I'm done. I'm fucking done with this fucking show here. All right? I've got to take a look at two stupid fucking chat rooms of people flapping their fat Dorito stained fingers on the keyboard talking garbage to me, for fuck's sake. Most of you people that are talking shit to me are probably the same people that grow fucking mushrooms out of their masturbation sock, and you want me to give you some kind of fucking respect? Fuck you! <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. What? Type has to throw everyone in the D-Live chat into an active volcano. Type has to command a tactical drone strike against the D-Live chat. Split D live chat's head with a hand axe. Uh, Run over D live chat's no, babies with a dodge charger. No, calm down. All right, everybody just please calm down, man. All right. And look at these people in the D live chat. End it, bitch. Look at this. End it, bitch. I've got your bitch. All right, I'm done, dude. I, I, I. I don't even know what I'm doing on this fucking broadcast. I mean, I shouldn't even have done... I tried to do the True Capitalist radio show to inform the folks that are out there that appreciate the financial insight and the political and social commentary that yours truly tries to convey on this broadcast. But of course, I've got all these ghost show and Saturday Night Troll show pricks who come along over here and try to fuck my shit up over here. And when I'm trying to convey some serious fucking CIA level of assessments type commentary, you fucking pieces of crap. And and no one, no one wants to listen, you know, because they're being bombarded by a bunch of fucking sick, demented text to speeches and all kinds of fucking disruptions by a bunch of cyber vermin. And it's, that's all there is to it. That's all there is fucking to it, man. And no, there's not a $5 fire sale if you become a fucking member of Rumble. Shut the fuck up, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. Shut up. All right, kid. Dude, take the, I'm going to take Rumble chat off of here and just leave fucking DLive on. I'm not even fucking joking around. I should just fucking take Rumble off and put, just leave DLive. And cheers to the folks out there in DLive, man. All right, seriously, I'm, I'm sorry that we have to con we have to go through this. I'm sorry that we have these fucking trolls talking garbage to me. I'm sorry, man. 
All right, give me a smoke here. All right. And, and dude, anybody who says dying show, kick him the fuck out of here. All right? FWTB, whatever you have, get kick that fucker the fuck out of here right the fuck right now. Kick him the fuck out. All right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying here. I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm trying. All right. It's, uh, uh, there's trolling the interwebs. People say your broadcast is propaganda, but everyone knows that propaganda is when a British person takes a good hard look at something. The hell does that mean, trolling the end? Was that even really trolling the interwebs for heaven's sake? Jesus Christ. All right, anyway, where are we at here? All right, 50 fighters, ISIS fighters killed in an explosion in Nigeria when they hit a landmine in transport. All right. Anyway, look at uh, Zenith562 uh, just says, once you do a pre recorded show, Nobody wants to fucking listen to those. I have some of the best commentary. I've got a show on YouTube that's called Discourse on Virus Patents that nobody fucking wants to listen to, even though I broke all kinds of different news on there, highlighted that every one of these so-called pandemic viruses have patents, all that shit. But does anybody give a fuck? No. Nobody cares. All right? Nobody can you only do this show for money. Dude, first of all, that's bullshit. Secondly, I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks. That's what I'm trying to do. You fucking jerk. That's what I'm trying to do. Jesus Christ. All right, where are we at here? Oh, yeah. Five finger prostate. Oh, I got a couple of donations here. Put the PC shot on. We got Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog. Hello, ghost. I've missed you so much. I hope you're doing fine. I'm not doing too well right now, for Christ's sake. Hey, wait a minute. We got Skunkler in D-Live with a ninja Ninjagini and said, Cheers, Ghost. I'm glad to catch a live show. That's me on Twitter. I expect to follow. You got that many followers, dude? What the fuck are you doing? Who, you know, what the fuck's going on with you over there? You're like, you got like fucking 8,000 followers or some shit. Anyway, cheers to Skunkler, man. He says he's a, a Drake advisor or some shit on his profile picture, or his profile description. I'm talking about Skunkler. Anyway, uh, he said, I miss our times touching our... Oh, Jesus Christ. Buy that for a Never mind. The doctor in the hospital looks like you need the wheelchair for two weeks. Rock ape. But the nurse said I need it for the rest of my life. The doctor, that is correct. All right, that's enough of the rock ape, please. All right, I mean, can y'all stop? That's enough of the rock ape jokes. And for all those that don't know, rock ape was a member of the inner circle and died of cancer, and these dumbasses have been making horrific, morbid jokes about this poor man ever since. And everybody in the chat room thinks it's fucking hilarious. They think it's fucking funny. That's great, isn't it? Jesus Christ. An enemy extremist, uh, can you de- Get that shit out of there, all right? Get it out of there! Anyway, uh, this idiot is claiming that, you know, we touched balls and he wants me to take his pants off. So get get out of here. And then we got Five Finger Prostate Punch. It's cute that you think your show is serious. Calm down and take them shekels, Mr. E-Boy. Well, first of all, I'm not a fucking E-Boy, you dumb fucking piece of shit. All right, I'm not a fucking E-Boy. And secondly... <laughs> oh, I'd buy God. that for a dollar. What is it, El Foxo? Let's be honest for a few moments. If you did a pre-recorded show... I will just replace your voice with Alex Jones and post it around Boomer Circles, claiming that Alex does secret YouTube streams. Also, Great. can you talk a little slower? Getting close now. Getting close now to what, you fucking sick pervert? Getting close now to what? Oh, God. All right, everybody, I'm done, dude. All right, I think I'm done with this fucking show. All right, I, I really do think I'm done with this fucking show. I've... I mean, I've, I'm trying out here. I'm trying to conduct this broadcast. But as you can see, this is fucking hard as hell over here, man. All right? I'm not even fucking joking. I'm not. I, this is this is fucking. Look at everybody. End it. End it, ghost. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. I, I will end it. Don't test me, man. I got a couple of more things I want to talk about, but I can't talk about it because you fucking people keep fucking talking shit. All right. Where are we at here? I forgot where I was at. I forgot where I was at, for heaven's sake. All right. Anyway, um, shut up in the chat room, please. I'm going to 
get rid of Rumble Chat if y'all don't shut the fuck up. Um, all right. Uh, where where are we? I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm flustered. I'm trying to get back to you know my my show here. You know I got fucking I got production notes, fucking production notes here that I took time to try to fucking guide me to what I was gonna do today, and unfortunately that went out the fucking window. All right, so that's great, isn't it? That's that's brilliant. Anyway, let me just go to some totally useless news, all right? Let's just go to some totally useless news so I can hurry up and end this fucking show, all right? Put the PC shot on. An AI tool just revealed almost 200 new systems for CRISPR gene editing. So what did I tell you about AI? Oh, God damn it. Wait a minute. Oh, what the fuck did you just say? Five-finger prostate punch, you fucking sick piece of trash. What the hell did you just say? Before you go slap that big fat hog on the desk for us to hear... Dude, I'm I'm not slamming my schlong head on the desk for you sick, demented perverts. All right? I mean, I get it. I've got women out there that are whacking their clitorises off like a windshield wiper out of whack, listening to the manly dominance that I'm throwing around this goddamn internet like it ain't shit. I get it. But I, I ain't trying to get down with, I, I don't know, whatever you're doing. I, I'm not down with that, all right? The sign on my ass says, do not enter, all right? So let's let's not, let's not go there, all right? All right. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, an AI tool has just revealed almost 200 new systems for CRISPR gene editing. Now, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Because if you think it's a good thing, then what the culmination of this is, if humanity makes it, is the equivalent of the movie Gattaca, in which every human being has to be filtered through this gene editing system in which there are no imperfections on humanity at all. And any uh, human beings that had any imperfections would be eliminated or put in containment and eliminated. And I think that's exactly where we're headed at this point in time, all right? Hey, hold on. Urinator is over there in goddamn fucking Rumble? What did you just donate? The whole show felt like it was totally useless news. Uh, Wait a minute. Y'all could do fucking Super Chats in Rumble? Don't do Super Chats in Rumble, all right, dude? Y'all guys are going to fucking... Like the masturbating hippo emoji. Uh, What is it? Rock cape to his dead in the hospital. Will you visit me after I leave this place? His dad, I don't visit graveyards. You don't visit gra- <laughs> Alright, dude, look. I'm, I'm trying. I'm sorry. I know. I'm trying to remain optimistic. You know, I'm trying to remain jovial. I, I'm trying to put in some fucking energy so I can just continue to do this broadcast. It's hard. Alright, it's fucking hard. Anyway, an AI tool just revealed almost 200 new systems for CRISPR gene editing. And like I said, I don't know if I feel good about this because, I mean, are we going to develop the, the, the most perfect human? And, by the way, the, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Can you piss off? No! I'm not going to check replies on time. I'm not going to do that, all right? You're not the boss of me, all right? You're not the boss of Ghost. I am the boss of me. I am the boss of Ghost. Do you understand that? Jesus Christ, man. I can't fucking believe this show. I mean, I wanted a serious show today. And look at this. Bob Filshin over there. To, uh, uh, dying show on Rumble Rants or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm telling you, man, you fucking enema bag cleaning, cuckold connoisseur, bloody underwear collecting, trans testicle bathroom turd burglar, nipple clamp loving, butt plug up the ass looking, turkey tit sucking shit. And what the hell is this? Pure Texan filth. What the hell is this? Pure Texan filth. Ah, oh, dude, why, why would you do this? Now, why the hell would you do this crap? Why in the blue hell would you do this garbage? <sighs> ASCII art of swastikas. That's great. Look at Urinator. It's cheaper here to interrupt donos, by the way. Dude, don't. That, that's what I'm saying. Don't do it. All right? Enough of rumble rants. I'd buy that for All right. Oh, great. I'd buy that we talking, yeah? Good. 
I can remind you that any creative AI software released to the public will be used and abused, specifically to mock you. Uh, With oh, the yeah, hours of course. Of some software of being course. released, we were using them to troll you. Yeah, of course, we, I know, uh, I know. to America. Yeah, great. Thanks a lot, El Foxo. And then we got Five Finger Prostate Punch. Uh, we know how hard it is, Ghost. We also get hard. Dude, are you implying some kind of homosexual type fantasy in relation to you listening to this fucking broadcast? Are you shitting me? Anyway, cheers to everybody over there in D Live hooking it up with the lemons over there. Lambo Agent hooked it up with a few diamonds, man. Cheers to Lambo Agent. And of course, Jag the Luxray and Skunkler with a Ninja Gini over there. Once again, cheers to all those folks over there, man. Cheers to you guys. Uh, but anyway, as I was stating, put the PC shot on, all right? An AI tool just revealed almost 200 new systems for CRISPR gene editing. And this does not look good for the future of humanity, if you want my personal opinion. It's going to look a lot like Gattaca. And what are we going to do with the imperfect people that aren't a part of this gene editing system that has been discovered by AI? What are we going to do with these people? Are we going to throw them away? Are we going to do something like the f***ing with Hitler or something? Like fucking, you know, uh, turn them in and fertilize the, the crops or something? What the fuck are we going to do? Look at these people in the Rumble chat. Who cares? I'd buy that Who cares? We need to get this AI. We need to be able to troll ghosts at the genetic level. At the genetic level? What the fuck does that mean? At the genetic level? What the hell does that mean? Anyway, uh, I, I, there it is. An AI tool just revealed, once again, a totally useless news story. What are we going to do with the people that are imperfect, that are outside the framework of this gene editing system, for heaven's sake? And look at Urinator over there in Rumble Rants. I'm almost to San Antonio. Are you ready for our date tonight? Don't forget the lube when... I go into your stinker. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. All right, come on, man. All right, first and foremost, the sign on my ass says do not enter, as I've always stated, first and foremost. And secondly, take about 10 steps away from my freaking butt crack with that fucking talk, all right? Anyway, as I was stating, before I got rudely interrupted here one more again... An AI to anyway, just get to the next story, all right? Let's get to the next fucking totally useless news segment here. All right, here it is, the next totally useless news segment. Take a look at this. Now, I remember around 20 years ago, there was this big kick on saving the bees. They get to go out and they get to find all the pollen and all the flowers and they pollinate the flowers. I mean, that's the whole point. Who gives a shit? And, uh, what is it, Sasori? Rock Ape would have been the best cook. There would be no problem with hair in the food after the chemo. After the chemo? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, that's enough. All right, and anime extremists, I'm not fucking reading that for a dollar. Are you fucking kidding me? Get that shit out of here. All right? Fucking talking about Dizzy Decoro or some shit. Anyway, as I was stating... Honeybees are now suffering unnecessarily in human-made hives, study finds. So we're damned if we do, and we're damned if we don't. Isn't that correct? Anyway, folks, uh, I'm not going to answer that question. Have I ever been with another man? First of all, I've never been with a man. Secondly, there's no reason to add the word another to that fucking question, all right? I, 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 I don't know what to say, dude. I don't, I'm, I'm trying, dude. I'm sorry. I'm trying here, but... Uh, these people are really pissing me off. I'm trying to make it to fucking uh, three hours. I just It's just not going to happen, man. <laughs> I'd buy that, I'd buy that, that for a Oh, Christ. Rock Cape with his friends. I found this site that tells you your character through your zodiac signs. After they checked theirs, they turned to Rock Cape and I'd asked him, what is your dollar. sign? Well, we know what he says. Dot now take off your pants and dance, monkey. <sighs> I'm getting out of here, dude. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get the fuck out of here. All right. Uh, put the PC shot on. What the hell is this? Uh, market enthusiast with two beers, and it said, uh, since you're on Market Watch, can you do a little analysis about these two tech-related stocks? Which one would you pick if you don't mind me asking? Uh, okay. Uh, let's. I, I guess let's take a look. 
All right, this is the first one here. All right, what is this? This is, uh, put the PC shot on. Let's take a look at this. This is a cover corp. Uh, the volume today was at 4.84 million, so it does have some shit. Hold on, this is a, the Japanese markets or some shit, right? This is yen. All right, so, okay, I, I don't know particularly about the Japanese stock market. <laughs> I'd buy that All right. for a dollar. You're right, Ghost. Oh, TCR Christ. isn't a webcomic or a comedy. TCR is hentai. It's fuck off, all right? Anyway, not bad volume. There's 23.5 million public float. So you compare that to the volume and the average daily volume. That's why you see these kinds of weird, you know, ver- I mean, it was up 6.83% today, but still. I mean, there has to be some decent news on it. I mean, if you can take a look at the five-day range, it's up 5.66%. One month range ain't bad. All right, uh, three month range. So everything came in at this past month. So what's the news on this? There's no news, obviously. Uh, let's take a look at the financials. Can we get a look at the financials on this? Yes, we can. As we can see, uh, let me see. This is 2001, 2002, 2023, uh, excuse me. Uh, we have net income growth went from 1.94% to 101.55%. So that's why you're seeing this big, massive increase. And it looks like they're in the money here. It looks like they're actually uh, 80% on the EBITDA growth, uh, which suggests that they're actually taking in money. Because if, if they weren't, you would have parentheses on these numbers down here. All right. Anytime you look at a balance sheet and you see parentheses around these numbers, that means that they're in the negative. All right. They're in the negative. So very interesting. And somebody said that that was a VTuber company. Well, they're making profit, dude. I'll tell you that. And let's take a look at the second one that this uh, person wanted me to take a look at. This is it right here. This is any color. What the hell is this? Any color. And this one is uh, 10.76 million public float. It's got 1.3 million volume. The average volume is 1.7 million. Uh, We've got uh, growth in the year to date at about 26%. There's no news on this shit. So let's take a look at the financials here. And the financials uh, go back to 2020. So... Uh, as we can see, we've got growth uh, going up from year to year. Except in 2021, they took a bad uh, they took a bad turn here. And as you can see, they had some net operating income losses. There's one of these parentheses here, uh, but now they're at up on the money at 54 uh, or excuse me, 58.44 million. Uh, interest expense growth is in the negative. Pre tax growth income is in the positive. Uh, as you can see, they're not bad. I mean, they're still, uh, the EBITDA growth is up 121%. And uh, this doesn't look like that bad of a company at this point, in my view. I don't know. That's what you really want to look at, man, is the, the, the balance sheets. You want to take a look at the volume. You want to take a look at how many shares are outstanding. I mean, those are major factors, in my opinion. But uh, those aren't bad companies, I guess, for Japanese companies. I'm not familiar with the market out there, but, uh, you know, I hope that... Uh, I hope that you understand that. I guess I hope that helps you, if I will. Uh, we got Five Figure Prostate Punch. You want respect? Slap that fat hog on the desk and you'll get respect. I'm not going to do it, dude. All right. All right. Look, we're at two hours and 51 minutes. All right. Let me give some shout outs to everybody who is on uh, Twitter. Okay. How about that? How about I give some more Twitter shout outs? And if you want a Twitter shout out, put the PC shot on. All you've got to do is go to my Twitter account right now, The Ghost Report. All one word, no underscores, and retweet this tweet right here. True Capitalist Radio Show, episode 668. If you retweet that tweet, I'll give you a shout-out live right here on the broadcast. All right, so who do we have here? Yeah, there's Hair of the Dog. We got uh, Oku's Bigly Jiggly Boobies, uh, Red Eyes, Pertrick Stir, Wood Chipper, One Ghost Penis Zero, whatever that means, Mama Luigi, The Anime Right Says Ireland for the Irish, Yeah, but they're the biggest anti-Semitic and pro-Palestinian people, and now they want the people that they're... Anyway, never mind. Uh, We got Fenix Clan Clan. Uh, We got trolling the interwebs of the house. There's Skunkler. Take a look at this. This guy's got 8,500 followers. He's a Drake advisor, Steak Insider. 
So, good God, man. We got Silverado Dude, a taco stand on Texas Martyrs' burial ground. We've got Yakass, the uh, Park Street legend in the house. Dark Razor. That's not the real Dark Razors. We got Alex Murdaugh, Al Sneed, Hair of the Dog, Bend Over Phil McCracken, uh, Jason Albion de Leon, Mike Italica, Ouija Slayer, Indian Giver. I already, I already said all these. Let's see if there's any more. Rock Ape got BB. Ah, oh, fuck you, asshole. We got SCM. We got Ghostina Albine. We got, uh, what is this? Uh, Dak off P. TCR equals three hours of edging session. What the hell does that mean? Nathan Gale, stage technician. You son of a bitch. That's the guy who killed Dimebag Daryl. That's the guy who killed Dimebag Daryl. Anyway, that's enough. We already said all these. All right. That's it. I, I'm sorry I even bothered. All right. I'm sorry I even bothered. And look at this. These people want me to go take a look at uh, uh, some of my mentions here, okay? Let's take a look at this. All right, hold on just a second. Let's take a look at some of these mentions. Put the PC shot on. Look at this. Life or death of TCR. Take a look at this. Real fucking funny, asshole. Real fucking funny. And there's me, uh, you know, yelling into the microphone, which is very, uh, you know, like myself. Uh, if humans evolved from apes, then why are... Oh, I'm not saying that, all right? I'm not saying... Oh, take that off! Hey, take that shit off! Take that shit off! That was a long time. Why are you bringing up old shit? Hey, what is this? The engineer and me here, for fuck's sake? Is that what... Why are y'all bringing up old shit? Ghost, it's a real skunkler. It's a shame you and the tranny brigade turned against our Jewish brethren. Yeah, real funny there, skunkler. Real funny, dude. Uh, and let's see, who do I... Oh, the E-boy. All right, I'm not a fucking E-boy, you piece of shit. All right, I'm not a fucking E-boy. And well, hold on, what the hell is that? Oh, God! Come on! Hold on, let me get my dog, Pinochet. Come here, Pinochet. I'm sorry, man. I got these fucking trolls. Oh, my God. All right, that's my cue to get the hell out of here. All right? That's my fucking cue to get the hell out. Look at... What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, my God. All right, dude. That's enough. All right. That's enough. What the hell is this? Mountain Dew Wieners. Dude, what the hell is that? What the hell? What? How are y'all? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm supposed to be eating rodent? Is that what I... Oh, my God. Ah, oh, dude, that they're making fun of Rock Ape on this one, dude. What a bunch of fucking assholes. And what the hell? Oh, my God. All right, I, I think that's about enough. What the hell is this supposed to be? Ah, oh, damn it. All right, I'm out of here. Take this shit out of here. Literally take this crap out of here. All right, I'm done, folks. All right, as you can see, I tried to make this a serious show, and, you know, it just it just never pans out that way, all right? It never pans out that way. All right, let me open up the treasure chest for everybody out there on DLive. Is everybody, rem is everybody ready? I'm not refreshing shout-outs. I'm done with this fucking crap. What are you talking about? I'm done with this garbage. I deserve more respect than this. You'll be lucky if I show up on Baller Friday for Goddamn Ghost Show. All right? You all will be lucky if I show up for the Goddamn Ghost Show. I can tell you that right damn now. Anyway, I'm about to open up the treasure chest right now in D-Live. So I hope everybody is ready. Are you ready for this? All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two... One. Hold on, let me take a hit of uh, tobacco here before I open up. Hey, I'm sorry. I want to take a little bit of a hit of tobacco. I'm sorry, all right? Not taking a hold of it, let it hit the brain. All right, let's go ahead. Let's open up the treasure chest right now. All right, there it is. We just opened up the treasure chest, all right? And by the way, stop fucking sending me sick-ass crap. Hold on, what the hell is this? Put the PC... Th stop fucking making Barry Blackberry a Chad. He is not a Chad. 
And this is fucked up, dude. All right, this. Uh, all right, that's enough of this. All right, that's it. That's it. Take this shit off. That's an absolute enough of this crap. All right, I'll tell you the top five lemon getters. We got Lambo Agent with 95 lemons. We've got Maria Maria with 55 lemons. We've got Deep Fried Watermelon with 40 lemons. We've got Paco Taco with 32 lemons. And name them with 26 lemons. All right. Anyway, folks, thank you all very much for tuning in to the True Capitalist Radio Show. I'm probably going to do another one of these sometime next week. I tried to exclusively just do the uh, True Capitalist Radio Show on Rumble and D Live in hopes of trying to kind of, uh, you know, bob and weave away from the trolls. That obviously did not happen. Obviously did not happen. Uh, but I will probably be doing a True Capitalist radio show sometime next week. Now, I may... I don't know. These fucking trolls have been pretty fucking bastardy right now. I'll be honest with you. But I may do a ghost show this Friday, probably after about 7.30 p.m.-ish, okay? 7.30 p.m.-ish ghost show. And uh, I guess we'll go ahead and, and, and hook it up. I guess I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and do it, all right? And what is Ghost Turkish Since fan? you are reviewing to bear company stocks, to bear merd when? Also, pick a stock between any color incorporated and cover corp. Me and the guys at numbers in the barra vt barra bordare q. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not, I'm not suggesting. Peter. You got to figure that out for yourself. All right, I'm not suggesting which stocks that you should. You got to figure that out for yourself. And I had no idea that those were VTuber stocks. All right, I had no idea. Fucking VTuber stocks. All right, we're 30 seconds away from three hours. Once again, the ghost show this Baller Friday, 7.30 p.m.-ish, Central Standard Time. And if you haven't done so, folks, please add to your bookmarks and add to your favorites. My official website, no matter what happens to me on any of these social media platforms, you can always dollar. find me at the following, ghost.report. All right, type that in your browser right now. Ghost.report is the name, or is the official website of yours truly. And by the way, Five Finger Prostate Punch said, hurry up and slap that fat hog so we can finally finish. You're a sick fucking, you guys are sick, dude. You guys are utterly fucking sick. And also, if you haven't done so, follow me on Twitter, folks. All right, I think I'm actually going to pay Elon Musk to be a part of Twitter Premium or whatever the hell it is. There it is right there, The Ghost Report. All one word, no underscores on Twitter. Give me a follow, and I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be hooking up uh, with a lot of content on there, a lot of content on Ghost.Report. We're going to try to be doing some things back on YouTube. Probably not anything uh, political related. We don't know yet. We're trying to figure all that out. All right? So anyway, thank you all for tuning in with me. I hope to see you all this Friday on The Ghost Show. If not, I'll see you next time on True Capitalist Radio sometime next week. Make sure to keep up to date with either the Twitter or the Instagram account. And the Instagram account is Capitalist Ghost. All one word, no underscores. Capitalist Ghost. Anyway, until next time, I'm out of here. <laughs>